and my name is Mike Pat, and this is my YouTube channel, Living in the Illusion. Now we're starting off a little bit different today. We're starting off with the wisdom of A Course in Miracles. And here's what the Course says. I have given everything I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place, all the meaning it has for me. You create your world and you give meaning to everything that is in it. And now, let's go on and review our subject for today. And this is our subject for today. And I'll read it off my paper. Uh, and here's what it is. Unbelievably, can you make an objective observation. Can you make an objective observation? Now there's an assumption here. There's an assumption that there are objects that you're going to observe. Uh, now I'll reference another video that we did and I think it's a playlist now. There is no objective world. But give that a look and see if it makes sense to you. Uh, but we're going to go on with our subject for today. And I do have some things already on our board. And I have over here all of these little squiggly lines represents uh, energy. It represents, and all the solid areas represent fixed energy. Now that fixed energy can be moving in a group or individually, but it is fixed within this energy system, which is the infinite field of everything also known as the all, or consciousness. You get your choice. Now, over here, we have a representation of you. And you might notice that it has some things in common with you. It might not look like you, but it has some things in common. Uh, let us take a look uh, and I will point them out to you. We have eyes. That's what this little thing is. Eyes. We have a nose. We have hearing. There is an ear. We have a tongue, which is taste. And we have a little hard to see right here, so you have to concentrate. There is a hand stretching out into this infinite field of everything. So we have visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory, and gustatory antennae that reach out into this field and pick up information. Notice, there's no objects in this field. Notice, there's no objects. Now, if there's no objects here, what are you observing with your senses? Now, there, uh, out here, I must stress again that uh, scientifically, all there is, is energy. And there has been many famous 
scientists who have affirmed it. Uh, Einstein being one of them, uh, Max Planck, uh, other people, indicating that this is a field, an interactive field that we are embedded in. So now we're going to look at what you observe. So let's pay attention here to this. So now uh, you must recognize that all you are is taking in information. And this information comes from your senses. And in other videos, we have said that that information from your five senses, the senses bring in unique and different information based upon the sense properties. So eyes will bring in a certain information around visual. Ears, auditory, certain information around sounds in the air, vibrations that hit the eardrum, and it brings in information. Your tongue also brings in information from the taste buds that uh, is a chemical reaction. And then you have a hand that comes in and brings tactile information, softness, hardness, whatever the fixed energy is out here. And then you have your nose, your gustatory, I mean your, your uh, uh, nose uh, bringing in uh, signals from the atmosphere around you in relationship to uh, olfactory and smelling. So you have all of these information and they're all separate. They're all separate little tracks of information. So here they are, uh, as best I can explain it right now. One, two, three, four, five. Good. We got the right number. What do they mean? What does the information mean as it comes from your senses? Now I'm going to reference another video called Your Senses Don't Tell You Anything. Your senses don't tell you nothing. Why? They have nothing to tell you. All they have is information to give. And it's raw, unfiltered data. It means nothing. So out here, I want you to kind of get this. Out here is meaningless information that you pick up with your senses. It's meaningless until you interpret it. Now, how do you do that? Well, you look at this separate information through your belief system. Sorry to say, belief system always comes up. So you're looking at it from what you know, from your vantage point, your life experiences, what you've gone through, things that have happened to you, and the memories of those things, because all you have is memories of those things. Uh, so you filter this information through what you know, and out of that process comes a different information. So after you filter it, now you have different information. You have filtered and manipulated the information to match what you know to be true for you based upon your belief system. Now where's the observation? What have you observed so far? All the sense bring this in. What have you observed? Nothing that's meaningful. Not one thing that's meaningful. Because now you have filtered it. You have 
changed the input information. You have changed what's available from out here to match what you believe. See, the truth of what's out here, not important, doesn't mean anything. What you believe through your belief system that is out here, very important, very meaningful. So you are taking the meaningless out here and making it meaningful in here. I should have referenced that in the Course, because the Course in Miracles says the same thing. Outside, meaningless. Inside is the only meaning. And it is not objective. No. No. No observations are objective. All observations are first person subjective. Now how subjective? That is questionable. But it's not an objective world. This out here that you are creating inside is an objective, a subjective world. Excuse me, I meant subjective. So you create a subjective, uh, I should draw that with another. In here you have a subjective world that you created based upon your beliefs. Now, as we talk about beliefs, let us talk about now let me write this down here. Your meaningful world is right here. World. Now, you create your world. You create it subjectively based upon your belief system. Now your belief system is determined, is created based upon your memories of past events. Most of those memories and therefore most of your belief system is out of your conscious awareness and is developed mostly in your core beliefs before the age of three. And you're not going to know what they are. The rest of your core belief system, fundamentally, your fundamental belief of how you understand your world to operate will be in place before age seven. And most of those, you will not know what they are. So your belief system is not what you know consciously. It is built in the subconscious mind and out of your conscious awareness. I'm, I'm stressing that because scientifically, they're going to say, uh, you will hear things say that, well, we make an objective observation and we do it very precisely and very critically and very completely and we keep our uh, emotions, our personal be uh, beliefs and, and opinions out of our objective uh, observation. Now, I want to stress this. In the egoic world, that's impossible. You don't even know what your beliefs are so that you can take them out. So you are 
in an illusion if you believe you make objective observations or objective decisions. It doesn't matter if science says you can or not. That is in the illusion. And it's impossible. Now I'm stressing that because they will, get, they will say, well, we, here's, here's the objective and I am viewing it ob subjectively and I will reduce my subjective until it becomes objective. Now what you're doing is you're reducing the objective until it becomes what you believe subjectively. And then you will say, oh, you see, I have an uh, objective viewpoint. Impossible. But the truth is not important. No more than you believing what's out here. The truth is not important. What you believe is true. That's important. And in the egoic world, you believe you can make an objective decision. You can make an objective observation. You cannot. But that won't stop you from believing you can. Oh, this is the grand illusion because the idea that you can make an objective observation holds the illusion in place. It's one of the foundations in the egoic world. Oh, perhaps you'll think about it differently. And perhaps you'll recognize you're the creator of your world. Your world is not out here. Out here is meaningless. In here is the only meaning there is for you. Be good to yourself. Think about this. This is a very deep subject. I know that. And I know it strikes at the root of the egoic belief system. But give us some thought. Say what you think about it. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time, right here, right here in the illusion. Bye now.